Hello everybody, my name is Harry Luthra and this is the summation for my team Postman in Pitspilani X Postman API Hackathon 4.0 and the name of our project is yeah. Kiro, your complete healthcare company. Okay, so now the task at hand was to build a comprehensive healthcare management platform by in a uh, implementing innovative features for modern healthcare. So before we begin, I would like to summarize the features we have implemented. Medicine Reminder, MediChat AI Doctor, which is a personalized uh, 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 AI-powered chat system. Medicine Price Comparison Platform, uh, which gets you best deals on medications by comparing prices over across uh, multiple online pharmacies. Secure Login using Fire, uh, Firebase OAuth. And uh, Healthcare Services Provider by using Google Maps API to locate nearby healthcare facilities such as clinics, labs, doctors, and other specialists. Insurance premium predictor, which predicts your premium uh, health insurance premium based on your medical history using our advanced ML model. Along with that, we also give you an option to store and access your complete medical history, test results, and prescriptions in one secure place. Along with that, we also manage your appointments so that you can book, reschedule, or cancel appointments using Next Health's API integration. Now, coming to our team, we are uh, four, uh, a group of uh, four members from Bitsflani Hyderabad campus. Uh, all of us are in our third years. Uh, now with that done, uh, let's dive in into the platform. So we have two options, either you can sign up or you can log in. I will use the login option using Google Auth. Okay, so now uh, I have logged in, as you can see, this is my comprehensive dashboard. As I log in, first I can see my uh, current BMI, my upcoming uh, appointments with my doctors, also a quick access to the Find uh, Healthcare Service uh, feature where I can find nearby hospitals if I'm in an emergency, find a nearby doctor, find pharmacies near, ma uh, near me. Uh, I also I can define whether my search radius is within two kilometers, five kilometers, 10 kilometers, or 20 kilometers. Along with that, I can also see the details of these uh, uh, pharmacies or hospitals or doctors. I can uh, get to know their photos, also uh, their reviews, so I can decide whether I uh, want to go there or not. Along with that, I have an access to my upcoming appointments and my health metrics on the same page. Now coming to our next feature, which is find healthcare services. Here I can find medical specialists uh, based on their field. So if I want to find a cardiologist near me, I can click on heart issues, neurological, <coughs> orthopedic, or eye care. Uh, let's click for neurological and see who, uh, which doctors are near me. So as you can see, I have these uh, 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 neuro uh, neuro neurological uh, doctors near me. If I click on details, I can see the photos along with the reviews. Also, I can find uh, nearby medical facil facilities and labs uh, near me and also see their photos and reviews by clicking on the details button. Along with that, uh, we have the option to store your uh, rec uh, healthcare records. Uh, you can click here uh, to add some kind of healthcare record, a doctor's consultation, a test, a prescription, or a surgery record. And along with that, you, we have given you options to edit your um, uh, prescription records or, uh, you know, delete them. <coughs> and uh, coming to our next feature, which is the appointment feature. So we have used Next uh, Health API, which helps us in booking uh, appointments for the doctors near you. So uh, currently we are using the uh, sandbox version of their API since their uh, uh, actual API is uh, we need to set up a billing account and need to uh, pay some amount for that. So uh, so that's why you can see there's some uh, test data which they have in their on their platform. Uh, but uh, once we change uh, to the paid service, it will go away and it will show us the doctors near me. I can select the available slots, add any uh, notes, or suppose set up. 11.15 and it's just booking for me. <laughs> yeah, and got booked. Now coming to MediChart AI. Oh, what MediChart AI is, it is basically a corrective rack architecture 
it follows corrective rag uh, architecture now what is corrective rag architecture now <coughs> if you come and see our uh, medium article uh, we have explained uh, our entire approach over there so basically this is our architecture diagram user sends us a query and uh, we attach some uh, you can attach your specific health records along with it and also uh, and this will go to the server server will then query this selected record and this query with the vector store which is a pinecone vector store in our case and return some documents which will go back to the llm and the llm will use these documents from the medical literature we have in the vector store and uh, uh, you know produce a response now this uh, is a traditional rag architecture but along with this what we have done is that if this we ask the llm whether these uh, documents which have been retrieved are good enough to answer the user's query or not and if they are not then uh, llm uh, uses a tool uh, which we have defined uh, through which it can ac uh, access health information uh, online by doing web search and get a new access to new information <coughs> and the llm then can uh, improve the uh, improve these documents add some more information and then grade them again and if it is again not sufficient it can perform a new health uh, 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 health information search again and do uh, uh, follow this loop until it produces a good result which uh, will then be sent back as a response to the front end and will be sent as a response to the user okay so now coming back to the implement uh, to the front end uh, suppose i have a health record uh, over here uh, some consultation with dr harry and i attach it and uh, i will type that i have a headache what should i do so now we wait a few seconds since it's an uh, we have used a llama 3 8 billion parameter model uh, by using the grok api and since it's a public uh, it's a uh, it's a, a free platform it takes a little bit time for inference uh, so again uh, it tells me uh, what i should do it tells me that for headaches sinus congestion and tension might be the issues it tells me to in, uh, uh, try locating these gb20 points in the base of my skull uh, and you know massage them along with that uh, if i'm it uh, then it understands that that uh, uh, health, uh, doctor's uh, consultation report basically had that I was uh, experiencing migraines. So it tells me about the symptoms of these uh, migraines and like what can it be triggered by so I can keep away from them. And also, you know, if uh, tells me to consult a doctor, a real life doctor, if you know they are uh, pretty bad headaches or they are, uh, you know. Uh, bothering me more uh, then let's come to medicine reminder so now what medicine reminder is uh, for building medicine reminder we use firebase cl uh, cloud messaging through which we can send notifications to your uh, desktop and as well as your mobile phone so i can add a medicine reminder over here i can add aspirin i can add one tablet i can add the time to be around what's the time right now uh, it's right now 2316. So let me at 2317 select all and add a medicine. Yeah, so that has been created. Now, uh, mean, uh, uh, instead of waiting for uh, one minute, what I can do is I'll uh, go to the other feature. So if I come, I, uh, what we are using is we are web scraping the data. Uh, from uh, various like uh, online pharmacies and like uh, doing a, uh, uh, sorting them, we can have sorting uh, and uh, uh, we can have sorting application to you know get the cheapest medicine. So suppose if I have Dolo, uh, Dolo I can search through various Indian pharmacies and yeah, so I have nine rupees from Apollo. Then uh, pharmacy it is selling for thirteen point four five, and I can even filter them on the basis of the source. Uh, on the prices of the price range increasing or decreasing and uh, see uh, I can search for different medicines like this now coming to the premium predictor uh, over here like we have used uh, for the premium predictor what we have done is that we used 
uh, uh, Indian insurance data set uh, to you know calculate the premium. So uh, if you go through our uh, medium article, we have explained how we have uh, what was our workflow. So first we did an exploratory data analysis and uh, trained multiple uh, different models like logistic regression, KNN, random forest, SVM, and light GBM. And finally, we found that uh, light GBM had the highest score, one, two, three star. This premium predictor, I will show you how it works by first I'll enter my age if I have diabetes or not, uh, if I had any previous transplants or if I or what is my height right now, what is my weight in kgs, enter all that details what are my known allergies uh, also we have this nice little uh, you know i button so you can just know that what we are asking about and uh, number of uh, this and i'll just calculate the premium yeah so my estimated premium is coming to be around fifteen thousand per year this is because i have you know good uh, bmi and good age but if i increase this age also it should increase Yeah, so it went up to 38,000. But okay, so that's all for the all the features that we have implemented. I log out now and I'll uh, you know talk a little about the uh, testing phase that we have. So we made around 22 APIs for uh, Curo and we have uh, you know set them up all in our uh, public collection. You can go and have a look how each uh, and every uh, API works. We have set up a nice description for it. Also, we have made our public, uh, you know, documentation for all these APIs. You can go have a look at that as well. Along with that, we have also, you know, given a detailed explanation of how we built each and every feature in our Medium article. And again, we would like to thank uh, Vince Pilani uh, and the Postman API for giving us the opportunity to work on this problem. And on, uh, to you know, uh, and get to know about so many different uh, new concepts. And thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. And please do give a, uh, uh, leave us a like and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. And if I fill this form over here, okay. So now coming to the insurance, which was around ninety-four percent. So we use light GBM model. One, two, three.